While biologists consider evolution to be the key concept to understanding present-day life, the actual evidence that life on Earth evolved is a mystery for most students. Many students view evolution as a matter of belief. The Evolutionary Evidence Lab explores several lines of evidence that today's species evolved from a common ancestor. The lab begins with a thought exercise. Students are shown a set of modern-day species and asked to move them around into some logical order. They can examine several traits for each species to help decide how to organize them. At the end of the lab, they will return to these species to test for evidence that all of them evolved from a common ancestor. The core of the lab takes place on a set of islands with lizard populations. As with all our labs, they reach the first island exercise and all other exercises by following detailed instructions in a workbook that you'll see in a minute and selecting exercises from a pop-up menu. Each island has a single lizard to begin with, and the student is a designer of lizards. By clicking on a lizard, they can select several traits to give to that lizard. They do this for the lizard on each island, selecting independent traits for each. They then drag examples from each island next to each other, and then they use a pen tool to draw circles around each group of lizards who share traits. For instance, the lizards from Island 1 and Island 2 both have back crests, so we'll draw a circle around them. Similarly, the lizards from both Island 2 and Island 3 have horns, so we'll draw a circle around them. This picture is saved for later reference. The next exercise is similar, but in this case, the lizards evolve from a population on a single island rather than being created separately. Students change a couple of traits in the first population, let some generations pass to allow the traits to spread through the population, and then have one lizard swim over to another island. They then change some more traits in the lizard on the second island and continue this process until all islands are populated. Again, the students will drag examples from each island next to each other and draw circles around all the lizards sharing each trait. I don't want to give away any punchlines, but the pattern of circles will be very different in the case of evolved lizards than it was in when each lizard was designed separately. Through questions in the workbook, students explore and quantify that difference to see how it can be used to test whether life evolved. Using this quantification, students are introduced in the next exercise to a fossil record that corresponds to the lizard evolution on the islands. They dig down through layers of rock to expose fossilized lizards and can compare the characteristics of the fossils to the pattern of traits on the different island populations. They see how this can be used as a further test of whether species evolved from each other. Finally, the lab returns to the set of real species introduced at the beginning. Students again are asked to organize these species and can now test for evidence that they share a common ancestor. Students can also dig through the real fossil record for these species as a second test. Just like all our labs, we have a detailed workbook that takes the students through all the experiments step by step. The workbook also includes data tables, spaces for them to answer questions and make predictions, and additional information and references for students who are interested. So although, as with all our labs, we recommend doing this one in class, it also works well as a homework and for online classes. If you would like to see a sample of this lab or any of our others, go ahead and get in touch with us and we'll be happy to get you more information on the program in the labs. Thanks very much.